this lecture we are going to perform a three by three PV array under partial solving conditions. So here we are going to plot the PV and IV curve under partial solving conditions. Okay. So what we need, we need the PV array. We just type a PV array on the, uh, the screen and uh, we'll get a PV array. So then next we we'll just click on the PV array and the parallel string we are mapping one and the series string we are mapping one and the module data that there are several modules available so you can select any one of the modules so i'm selecting the soil type one sx215 so this module have a maximum power of 313.15 wattage and the open circuit voltage is 36.3 and the maximum power is maximum and uh, vmp that is the voltage at maximum power is 29 volts and it has 15 volts uh, 16 cells connected down in the series and uh, current short circuit current is 7.84 ampere and uh, the maximum uh, current at maximum power current is 7.35 ampere so now we what we'll do is just plot the this pv curve at 1500 watt magnetic square and we'll see the how the pv curve will look like so now we will see we will take this uh, data bit and uh, we'll just plot we'll just see the what are the x-axis what are the this is the voltage and this axis is the power so the voltage is 29 volts and the power is 213 at 1000 watt per meter square and if you see uh, the 500 watt meter square the voltage is 21.33 and the power is 108 uh, wattage so this is the one pv parallax pv characteristics and iv characteristics now what we have to do is we have to connect the these channels in the series and parallel to make a uh, to make a partial solving conditions so what we'll do we'll just mm, use a constant block Okay. and uh, this constant block will serve as a variations okay variations okay so i will keep the arr a variation and uh, this is for the temperature so at the standardized conditions these two will be uh, radiation will be thousand watt per meter square and 25 degrees centigrade okay so now one more thing we need a diode uh, that is empty parallel with the uh, the PV array. So we just connecting the diode here like this. And uh, okay, so the need of the diode is to avoid the uh, to heat to heating in the PV array uh, under partial solving conditions. So we are connecting the three by three. So we are just making a copy first here, and uh, we are just connecting. Uh, modules like this okay so x is we are connecting like this and we are connecting like this okay so this is a very simple connection which we are mapping here so now what we need we need a uh, voltage measurement okay and uh, we need a current measurement okay and the current measurement will be in the series and the voltage measurement of the parallel so now we have to measure the voltage okay so we are using the controlled voltage source So we are using the controlled voltage source and here you can see we can make an AC and as well as DC. So here it is a DC. So we are initializing it as a DC and uh, we are just connecting like this in the parallel uh, with uh, our voltages. So it's a controlled voltage source. So we are varying this voltage, this kind of uh, resistance with me and we are varying this voltage, this uh, voltage from zero to VOC. So how we are varying? We are using the range functions here, and with the help of range functions, we are varying. So what will be the slope and here? So one PV parallel is at thirty six point three volts as a VOC. So one, two, and three. So total voltage will be thirty six point three multiplied by three. So this is the ramp, and this will be starting from zero to three times of the VOC, and that is VOC is the total VOC of all three strings okay so now we need the scope to 
uh, measure the voltage current on the power and uh, we are just connecting this target connecting the red lights now we need a multiply to uh, multiply the voltage as well as the current to get the power of the two targets okay so we just click on the top and we just go to the settings and the layout we are making the same so we are getting the three kind of layout voltage what is the current what is the voltage and the power okay so now one more thing we are going for the workspace and uh, in the workspace it is required to plot the pv and id curve uh, okay so here two for editing so here uh, we just plot on the cmount okay we are just changing the name icv and uh, we are making a time series is that it's successful with the time okay so <coughs> next is we are using the vpv and uh, next is we are using the cpv okay so the ipv is here and the vpv is here and the cpv is here okay so one more thing what we need we need a power gui block Okay, so before going, before running this one, what we have to do, we, we can go to the model configuration setting and make the fix step and uh, here go to the ODG3 and forward it here with keep our energy power minus 5 there. Okay, just now, next go to the power GUI and make it discrete and here keep the same uh, the sample time and go to the preferences and keep the piston uh, discrete further and make it okay. So now we are going to run, run this and we are making the simulation time is one second. Now we are going to run this and uh, to just see the how the response and then all the PV panels like 1000 watts from the square. So you can see here uh, the PV voltage is uh, the PV current is reducing and the PV as the PV voltage is increasing. So this is the PV voltage as the PV voltage we are increasing. Uh, so the PV power is also increasing whereas the PV current is reducing because we have started the voltage from zero, zero that means this total array is short circuited so this short circuited is maximum current employed and uh, when we are increasing the voltage this current is going to reduce okay so we will wait for up to one second and we will see the how the PV and ID curve will look like okay we will just wait for If you haven't subscribed my channel, please go and subscribe the channel for the latest updates. So now it's done and uh, you can see the voltage is increasing. Your PV curve will be like this. This is uh, the current curve. So now we want to plot the PV and uh, IV curve. So these are the data that will be going into the workspace. So we'll go to the model and we'll search in the workspace where is the voltage. So this is the VPV and uh, this is the signals okay so these are the values okay so what we'll do we just go to the plot okay and uh, vpv dot signals okay so here you can see this is a nam that's nam we have to type here to plot the signal dot value comma vpv dot signals dot value okay so now we just plot it and uh, we'll see so this is the curve pv curve at uh, uh, thousand watt per meter square all the pv panels are at thousand watt per meter square okay so now what we'll do we just make uh, any the pv any any of the pv panel at the passive setting conditions and we'll see so we are making this as a 5 right and uh, we are making this panel as a 2 right okay and so we just again run this model and uh, uh, we will see the how the PV curve will be looks like. So we have to wait for the one second, one minute for this one. Okay, so now mm, this kind of curve is uh, we'll see under the passive setting conditions. Now we'll plot this curve and uh, we'll just go to the command window and what we'll do, we we'll just set the hold all and uh, the same data we are going to plot. Okay, so now we'll see. So this is the curve under normal setting condition and this is the curve under the passive setting conditions. So as you can see under normal conditions the PV power is more and under passive setting condition the PV power is going to reduce. Okay, so this is the way uh, we can plot. Now in the plot 
that uh, what we're going to do we just plotting it as the y axis is zero and uh, the x axis is also zero yeah so you can simply form uh, using time two gamma and matrix uh, this one so this is the normal curve and it passes a normal curve under all the p channel pi of thousand meter meter square and this is the curve at uh, when the uh, some of the p channel have the partial shading some of the p channel has uh, the such a partial shading okay so the power output power is going to reduce uh, when one of the channel some of the channels are under partial shaded condition okay so uh, this is the way uh, where we can uh, plot the pv and rv curves using the matlab uh, simulation okay if you haven't subscribed the channel please go and subscribe the channel thank you thank you very much